now I'm gonna trade in to get this weapon just for fun. It's not really useful, but it does look cool. Kind of like a giant comb. Too bad we can't really do our skills with it because it's not the correct kind of weapon. And so, as you can see, I can only hit ones on these guys. But it's still fun to just do that. And since we're winning by more than 100, and there's only 20 seconds left, I figured it'd be okay just to do that. So then we just have to wait for these last 10 seconds, and we read of one. Sadly, the other team can't even get 500, but that's okay. So I'm just showing off that my armor isn't the correct kind. And so now, we're going to go to the haircut place to try and see if I can get a good haircut or if it's going to be a horrible one. Just trying to decide what we should do next because there's a lot of things we could do, but we have been doing the carnival party quest for quite some time. So I'm trying to think of what to do to, instead of just doing that. And since haste is faster than self haste, I think I was seeing if he had it just in case. But I took mine off so that I wouldn't get too far in front of him. So now, to get the haircut, for free anyways, all we have to do is go to Henesis, and then we go to this one place from there. But it's pretty easy to do because it doesn't even cost any money to get there. So I'm just going to walk to the taxi and get there, and once we get there, we have to start this quest. And the place that I was talking about was Amoria. I just couldn't think of the name. And I wish they made a chat box that I just exited, but it wasn't so big. But you could still like see what the person looks like at that moment. Because I do like that feature, but I hate how it covers up the whole screen and you can't really minimize it for a second or anything. And right now, the game is glitching out so I can tell that I'm going to most likely get disconnected. But I just go along with it anyways, and going to go into the shop where you can get the haircut. And the place is all messed up. So I keep on going back in and out to check if it'll make me get disconnected or not. So instead of just a black screen, there's supposed to be stairs where that rail, rail is, and then a platform up there. And I have no idea why the right side is all blue with, like, darker blue stripes, but... 
It's really weird. But all you have to do is start this quest for her, and she wants 25 squishy liquids which you can get from the slimes pretty easily. But I already have those 25, so all I have to do is talk to her again, but it doesn't even show that I completed the quest. But I can already tell that I was done with it, so you just say yes, and then you get this ticket, and then you just have to talk to her again. And luckily I got the best haircut pretty much from a free thing. The worst one I think it is, is the one where you have really like buzzed off hair and then there's patches of baldness in your hair. This haircut is usually what most people think is the best one that you can get from this. So, I like it a lot because you can also see it mostly whenever you have hats on, except for the one where it's like an animal head. Now all we're going to be doing is just messing around to try and get rid of boredom, which this game isn't really boring or anything, but once you have to keep on redoing the same thing over and over again, it does get repetitive, so it's fun just to go out and do random stuff. But now I put on my regular clothing. Well, not yet, but this is... I think it's the clothing that you get after you do the... Um... The job quest for level 30, but it's really bad. And he just dropped something. And so then I took it, and then I pretended like I was gonna run away. But I want to do that, so then I'm just going to give it back to him. But with this haircut, you can see that little sliver of orange hair there, which I think looks really cool. But even though this bandana is pretty cool looking, it's not good at all compared to our other hat. Like I'm saying now, I usually don't let people like wear the stuff if I have something really expensive. I might show them in the trades so and they can see the stats and stuff, but I don't trust too many people online unless they're my real life friends. I'm kind of surprised I haven't disconnected yet because usually whenever the screen goes funky like this I disconnect in about 20 seconds at most and so now I'm playing with him again I'm gonna run away and I was kind of thinking I might, have discon I might disconnect while I'm running away which would have been bad because he would have thought that I actually did try and steal it But he actually has a flash jump, it might be called, I'm not too sure, about the assassin skills. But I think that's what it's called, where you actually go pretty fast. So I wouldn't have been able to run away from him that long. And 
and instead of just dropping it, I decided that it'd be a lot safer to just trade him it, because then anyone could just come along and take it when I dropped it. Now I'm trying to figure out what quest to do next. There really isn't any good ones. And I noticed one in the event ones where you have to kill this boss called Stumpy. You get a different boss depending on your level range. But the one that I got is Stumpy and so then I figured that we should just go and try and do that one because I had no idea what the reward was or how good that quest was. And so now he's showing me a little teleporter thing there, which I didn't even know about until now, which is kind of faster. So if I ever remember, I will be using that, but I probably won't. So now I'm going to Cassandra, which is the quest that, which is the quest giver. Of that one quest. Let's try and get the quest from her. 